Welcome to Subatomic Workshop. So here's part two of my Mini Nuka Cola machine. If you missed part one, you can click the link in the top right to see that. So this is just the finishing up of the piece. I tried some techniques I've never tried before to see how they went. Uh, in my previous video, I had used some super glue to fill in the cracks before remolding the piece, and it left some roughness to it, and I liked the look of it. So I decided to go ahead and try to lay down some before painting to give it a rust coming through from under the paint look. I think I was a little light with it because once I started painting it, you really couldn't notice it. Um, but here I am using acrylic paints for the first time. They were really easy to use, but man do they dry fast. And when somebody says dry brushing as a technique, they really mean dry. I had to wipe off a lot more of the paint than I thought I was going to need to to get the coverage that I wanted. Oh, and after editing this video, I went and cut my Mexican slash Jew fro off, um, but you guys are going to have to deal with it for this video and probably some in the next video as well. So I printed out a Nuka Cola logo and transferred it to some thin cardboard to try and make a stencil, but because it was so small and delicate, it kept ripping. So before I burned my house down in frustration, I talked my wife into buying something that we couldn't afford, and that was a Cricut die cutting machine so that I could just have the machine cut the stencil for me. It's, uh, it worked like a charm, and I didn't even have to light anything on fire, so that was nice. And uh, all I did was I just dabbed the paint into the stencil carefully and went over it a few times, and it came out looking pretty good. Uh, because it was a stencil, I had to go in and fill in some areas, but overall I'm pretty happy with how that part came out. I also went ahead and tried the mustard trick for my good friend Bill over at Punish Props. And by good friend, I mean a person I don't know at all, but I've watched all of his videos and really, isn't that the same damn thing? So I just tried it, but it didn't end up working for me. It could be for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one of them, I added two layers of paint over it. I let it dry too long. I suck. It's my first time using acrylics, etc. The list goes on. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the I suck option and I'll try and give it another go um, another time when I just put one paint, one coat of paint over it and see how it turns out that time. I then did the small details of filling in the area around the screen and adding the slots and parts to the coin operated area. Um, I would have liked to have had the coin parts three-dimensional, but I couldn't figure out a decent way to do it with the tools I had, so I decided to go ahead and just paint them on. And here I am trying to wipe away the mustard. It did chip the paint in a cool way, um, just not always in the places where the mustard was and sometimes down to the bare resin through all the coats of paint. So I kept those and just added more wear marks with some black paint. I then clear coated the whole thing and started the weathering. It came out alright for a first time I guess, it didn't seem exactly right to me, but passable I guess. Um, one problem I definitely kept having was the paint drying too much before being able to wipe away the excess. Uh, even with adding some water to the paint and the paper towel being wet, it was 82 degrees in the garage while doing this, so that probably had something to do with it. And so here it is finished after another clear coat. And um, my wife says she likes it, but she is a liar, so who knows? And um, here is a sneak peek at a second one I made, which will be then my next video, and the last one on Nuka Cola machines for a while, I promise. Um, so if you did like the video and want to see more, please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you have any comments, questions, or complaints, please leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.